crafters, outdoorsmen, concerned citizens, self-defenders, and awesome people, and my friends all across the globe. How you doing today, guys? Welcome back to another new video. My name is, of course, Ian Primal Talbert, here with Mass Tactical and the Warrior Tribe, where we help you get further, much faster, in your life, and help you go from average to savage in your preparedness without you having to navigate rivers and rivers of bullshit to get you there, and we're one of the only operations in the world that can help you get paid to become prepared. If that sounds interesting to you, be sure to check the links down in the description below. Hit us up in the Warrior Tribe. See if it's for you. I think a lot of you guys would probably like it. Check it out. No strings attached. We're always looking to grow and add more prepared individuals to our operation. So, I'll see you inside. Today, on the table, we've got the Core Neo Locking sunglasses. Now, you might remember I did a review a while back on this. If you didn't watch that video, go ahead and pause this right now. I'm going to link it up top and down below. Be sure to click that. Go watch that video because it's going to be a little bit more in-depth and go over every single detail of these glasses that you need to know. This video is kind of just going to be a follow-up. We're going to touch on the key crucial aspects in this. So, you, you know, if you're new to these glasses, you get a good idea as to what you're, you know, getting into. Uh, but be sure to watch that original video and check out all the specs on the fashion style glasses uh, first. And because, you know, there's really not a whole lot of differences between the ballistic version and the fashion version. Uh, but there are a couple crucial differences that we're going to cover today. And, uh, you know, we'll show you. Uh, we'll get, get some tasty B-roll going here in just a minute and dive into all these details. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. So guys, this is just purely my personal opinion, but I think that most sunglass options on the market today are just absolutely trash, unless you're willing to spend a good amount of coin to get a good pair. And even then, I still think that you're just getting a good pair in comparison to these Core Essentials Neo Lock shades. I consider these to be great sunglasses and I'll probably never own another pair. I just don't see anybody being able to come along and innovate and make a better product than what Core Essentials has produced here. And it's the same thing with their gun belts. Core Essentials gun belts are top of the line. I think they're the best options on the market. They brought that same exact attention to detail from their gun belts and their wallets and other EDC essentials into these new Neo Lock shades. And, uh, you know, so Core Essentials is just all around a really overall great company that really puts a lot of effort into creating high quality products. So again, just my personal opinion. So before you go grabbing your keyboard and you're all like down in the comment section like, well, you know, I got this $35 pair of shades here from Amazon Prime and you wouldn't believe the quality that these things have in comparison to some of the higher dollar options that are on the market today. And you know, if I'm being honest, you know, I don't like to put a lot of money into sunglasses because, you know, I'm an irresponsible adult and I lose my shit all the time and I probably let my kids play in traffic, but that's besides the point. I'm probably going to lose these things, so I don't like to put a lot of money into them. And, uh, you know, so... If that's you, you know, by all means, guys, go right ahead, get some budget glasses. I am here to produce what I think is high caliber content to what I believe to be high caliber individuals about high caliber gear and information. So if that's you, please go down and hit that like button for me. Drop us some comments. Share this video with your friends and family. Show us some love because it helps the algorithm, helps expose us to more people, you know, because they're, they're always trying to silence us, guys. It's bullshit. They're always trying to silence us. So for any of you guys that ever engage with our stuff, please know that I sincerely, sincerely appreciate you guys. So I've had trouble with my eyes for as long as I can remember. I've always had light sensitivity issues and vision issues. And you know, if you've been here for a minute, you might remember that about a year ago, I had laser eye surgery to improve my vision. And as a byproduct of that, my light sensitivity issue got even worse. So I've typically always got on a pair of sunglasses when I'm outside and occasionally indoors if the lighting conditions are too harsh. I'll keep my shades on like a weirdo. Uh, you know, I'm, when I'm working in the office here, I've always got the lights off with the exception of when I'm filming here. And, uh, you know, so needless to say, I've been through a lot of sunglasses in my days and there's just nothing out there that compares to these things, guys. And when I got my hands on the fashion style Neolox originally, 
Uh, I was blown away by them, obviously. But I also knew that, you know, like I go to the range, I shoot guns. So I was like, guys, you have got to put out a ballistic variation of these shades. And it wasn't on the radar at the time, but they said that it might be in the future. So I kind of nudged them in that direction. And I think a lot of other people probably did too. Uh, so here we are, not even a year later. I don't think it's even been a full year yet. And here we have the Ballistic Badlands. And so remember, like I said, there's a Badlands fashion version, but there's also now the Badlands Ballistic version. And the way that you tell them apart is the little shield icon logo right here on the side of the frame and then also on the inside of the arm you will see ballistic badlands right there uh, looking at it at a glance you really can't tell any difference whatsoever the other only difference that i have noticed here is that the coating is a little bit different on the fashion style badlands here it's got more of a rubberized coating and it feels really nice i'm a really big fan of it and personally i've not and i wear these things all the time i've not had any issues with that coating wearing off at all uh, but i noticed that the reckless fashion style has more of a smooth finish it's not that it doesn't have that rubberized feeling to it um i'm not sure as to why they did that differently with the fashion style and then you know with the ba ballistic badlands here it's also the smooth finish like the reckless style and, and so I'm wondering if maybe some people might have had some issues out of the ruggedized, you know, rubber rubberized coating there. But again, I haven't had any issues out of mine whatsoever, and I really like that. So I'm curious as to why they didn't put it in the uh, ballistic style here. But either way, it's just kind of a personal preference thing. It's super high quality finish either way. Um, and so let's talk about first my favorite feature and probably the coolest feature of these sunglasses. If you didn't already know... neodymium smart magnets they put magnets in sunglasses guys oh that's so tasty i don't know about you guys but i really like satisfying sound but you know it's really not a brand new concept people have been putting magnets into products in unique ways for many years now i'm just super surprised that it took this long for somebody to think to put them into a pair of sunglasses and uh you know it's just like why didn't i think of that man it's like such a genius idea but here we are we've got sunglasses with magnets in them now guys and that gives us some pretty unique options for storage so we don't lose them right like we can take them and put them right here on our sleeve if we wanted to and that ain't going nowhere right like that's super secure these magnets are really strong magnets uh you can also put it you know right here like a lot of people like to do right in the center of the shirt and you know Traditionally, when you leaned over, they almost always fell out. Now, with the magnet, you don't have to worry about that, uh, you know. And also, they, they grip a little tighter than most sunglasses do. So, when you put them on your hat or your head, you know, and you look look around real fast or you look down, uh, and you know, usually they would fall off. Now, they don't really typically do that. These, these grip a, a good bit tighter. Not uncomfortably tight, but just right. And uh, so, uh, you can also take them and put them on like any metal surface, right? Core also has this visor strip right here that'll wrap around your sun visor and your vehicle. It's got magnets in it too, and it just magnetizes to the shades like that, and you can just hang them right from the visor of your car, and uh, or again, any other metal surface. If that wasn't enough options, they've also got the storage container that it comes in. This this little mug looking thing right here. It's actually perfectly sized to fit into most standard sized cup holders in your vehicle so you can just take it right there and just throw it right into the cup and leave it like that uh you know a lot of times i, I used to put my sunglasses in my cup holders before and uh they would just bounce around they bump into other things or just get scratched against my keys or something like that now uh, these you can just jump it right into here and these are felt lined on the inside so you don't have to worry about anything getting scarred up uh, so lots of options when it comes to storage right and that's the coolest feature but let's dive in with some awesome b-roll here and talk about the specific differences between the ballistic version and the fashion versions <laughs> As 
As you would expect, Core Ballistics Badlands polarized sunglasses have been ballistics tested and certified by Colt Laboratories for the highest impact and safety ratings available, including MIL PRF 23432A Class 1 and ANSI Z87S. This means that they're ideal for soldiers in harm's way, the shooting range, as work safety glasses, or just simply around town as a precaution. It's a whole new innovation within the ballistic sunglasses market. And it's a utility patented product by Core Essential, so you can assure that there's not going to be any knockoffs out there. If there are, they'll be able to get shut down really fast. It's also a great convenience and a big time money saver, but they didn't just stop there. They also employed the highest quality materials available to create the new Core Ballistic lenses. Here's some facts. The frame is a TR90 NZZ high density polyamide for impact resistance. The lenses are PCPL high impact with polarization. It's got total UVA and UVB sun protection. They're scratch resistant, smudge proof, anti-reflective on the inside, and have salt water resistant exteriors. The frames on these things are beefier and it's an overall more substantial design compared to most sunglasses. These are not your typical ultra lightweight, thin, flimsy, or cheaply made sunglasses, but rather a quality built option for durability. For example, the hinges and screws are 25% larger to withstand use and abuse. The frames themselves are also infused with a black coloring to take advantage of the material's inherent strength and flexibility. These glasses are truly built to last. They've also tested and passed. Core Ballistics lenses were fired at using a T37 shaped fragment projectile from 700 to 725 feet per second. They were also baked at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, submerged in salt water and compressed while folded for several hours and they still maintained their integrity. So if you're concerned about the aspect of having a magnet near your brain, don't worry. These magnets are 100% super safe to wear because the magnetic field is actually directed outwards away from the body. So the inner side of the sunglasses have no discernible magnetic force whatsoever. You can test this yourself by trying to place a paper clip or a piece of metal on the inside of the sunglasses. It's just not gonna stick. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like these Neo Lock shades from Core Essentials as much as I do. If you want to check them out in further detail or pick up a pair for yourself, be sure to click the links down in the description box. I'll also put a discount code down there for you guys so you can save a little bit of money. And as always, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe if you want to see more content. If you like our stuff, hit the bell notification icon, join the notification squad. We're always trying to grow the notification squad, my friends. So, uh, again, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.